So Mueller, as predicted, relied almost exclusively on the 448-page report, saying more than 200 times he couldn't or wouldn't answer questions. But tonight, Democrats say their fight is far from over. In fact, it's just beginning. Joining me to answer that is President Trump's personal attorney, Jay Sekulow. Jay, long day. Hey. Great to have you with us. Thank you for having me. Okay, so let's start with Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Yes. She uh, showed up for the post-hearing press yes. conference this afternoon, and she had this sign we wanted to put up for people, and she said it proves her point. She says all this money that they recovered uh, in going after people, um, 37 people charged with different crimes, 25 uh, ongoing criminal investigations, seven people uh, convicted. Um, she says a lot has been done and much more is to come. Yeah, well, if you look at the money that they recovered, what was it for? Tax evasion, bank fraud, had nothing to do with campaigning, had nothing to do with the president, had nothing to do with the president's campaign. It was, it was li li literally tax fraud cases and bank fraud cases. So I, I, I get what they're saying. Look, I mean, she, she went up there, uh, the speaker, with due respect, uh, and tried to put a happy face on a very damaging day because every network around the country most of the commentators acknowledged that this was a bad day for those that were trying to raise an issue of culpability or impeachment or whatever you want to, however they want to phrase it. I think the reality of what set in was, and the president said this, I think, really well, and, and that is it's very difficult to defend the indefensible. And that report, and I've said it on your broadcast before, was incoherent from page one till the very end. It made no legal sense. That whole exoneration thing is absurd. You're a lawyer. I mean, prosecutors don't exonerate. Not only do they not exonerate, a jury, when you're acquitted, in other words, you're found not guilty. Not guilty is different. You're not, you're not exonerated. Mm -hmm. So I don't even know why Bob put that in there. I have no, why, did, why did he allow his staff to put in a phrase that they knew, had to know, was going to cause so much consternation within the lawyers that actually practice law in this well, area? And it's something that came up quite a bit today. Yeah. And the man who would launch impeachment hearings, the uh, sure. House Judiciary Chair, yeah. um, Nadler, this is what he had yep. to say, saying it was a good day for Democrats. Here's what he said. Mueller made clear that the president is not exonerated. Mueller found evidence of obstruction of justice and abuses of power by the president. He said the report said the president could be indicted for obstruction of justice after he leaves office. What yeah. about that? Well, th the whole thing about can a president be indicted after they leave office? If you rob a bank, you could be indicted. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that, that's like a, it's a meaningless statement. What they are not reporting in their press statement was when Bob Mueller had to go back and correct himself. Mm -hmm about this whole, why, for the, why did you not move forward with the recommendation of indictment? Was originally it that your said, were tied, or is it yeah, that you yeah. didn't find a And he crime. initially said it was the Office of Legal Counsel opinion, you can't indict a sitting president. They came back and said, well, that's actually not correct. I need to correct the record. It, we, we never determined any conclusions on culpability. That's because in his report, which everybody ignores, he says it's difficult questions of law and fact. Mm -hmm. And you know this as a lawyer, when you have difficult questions of law and fact, guess what you don't do? Bring a case. Mm -hmm. So that's what this was. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, Bob had to correct himself. He did. To his credit, he did. Uh, but I think, look, I, I, I don't see how anybody can put this as a win for anyone other than the president, and frankly, the country, because I think the country's enough of this. I think well, that's why it doesn't come up in conversations. But members of the House, yeah. Democrats say it's not over. A couple of them talked to our chief uh, producer on Capitol Hill over there, yep. Chad Pergram. You probably yep. know him well. Yep. Sure. Uh, Congresswoman Madeline Dean and Congressman David Cicilline, she said this is not over. It's just begun. That's what she told Chad. Uh, he said this is not the end. It's only the beginning. But they say they, they say that they have all of but, these other probes going on, and they're going to call well, other people. So what they're about they're going to have? Go. Let's say what they have a probe on. They they had a probe on emoluments, mm -hmm. except they lost that in court now twice. That case. Okay, they they've got a, a probe on tax returns. Which, if you think about it, where in the Constitution does it say that to run for office you have to release your tax returns? It doesn't. So and that whole theory of how they are trying to get the tax return that'll be litigated. They had Bob Mueller today, mm -hmm. the architect, supposedly, of the Mueller report. This was the witness. This was going to be the game-changing moment. And what was it? It was a game-changing moment, all right, mm -hmm. uh, that this is done. I th I've been saying case closed. I think this just reiterates case closed. Okay. Well, you know, uh, some of your adversaries on the Hill are not done yet, but it keeps you very busy as we right. talk about there's a new case every day. Yeah, every day. All right, Jay. Thanks, Thanks for Shannon. Stopping by. Appreciate it. Thank you.